a call from um, the uh, North Bay organization to say that uh, I'll be their next pick and uh, really excited and my family went crazy and was cheering me on so it was nice to have them there with me. Caden's dad knows all about it. Mark drafted 25 years ago by Oshawa had a lot of tips for his son. A little bit, yeah. You know, he's been there since day one teaching me and skating with me and, you know, still to this day playing on the outdoor rink or whether or not. So um, I'm happy to play with him and um, just for me as well, you know. I'm, uh, I think I'm ready. Uh, I've This year I was on the ice with a couple of them and I thought I could keep up with them quite well. Meanwhile, Chase Thompson went one round later than long in the 14th. He likes to play a complete game. I've got my style of play of uh, like high intensity. I'm a high intensity player. I play a complete game, physically and skilled. I've got uh, lots of skill. I can put the puck in the back of net as well as set it as up. I'm uh, I'm really hungry. You know, I'm ready. I'm ready to start. I've uh, I've been going all all ever since I started. Right, so I'm ready to get started and play on whatever team I go to. Thompson and Long both had to make the trip to Toronto to play because, of course, there was no organized league up in the north. It was a challenge in many ways. A bit of a sacrifice, you know, uh, playing down south, it, was, uh, it wasn't too, too far, but, you know, you uh, had to go down and practice and play with the newer guys. It's, it's a different league, right? So it's, it's, uh, there's a lot faster, faster players there, and it's a faster game, so it was, it was good. Um, it was a big difference, you know, um, being one of the top guys here to going down there and being realizing, you know, wow, like I'm, I'm, this is a place where I got to fight to be, um, you know, t even top five. You know, I got to work my butt off to get to the be one of the top guys and show the coaches that I can play and stay on the ice. 25 years ago, yours truly did a profile of Caden's dad, Mark, when he broke into the OHL with Oshawa. Here's his thoughts. I mean, especially this year, uh, you know, with COVID and uh, we, we had no idea. We had, we had a few teams call and uh, I just I just said, hey, whatever happens, happens. And, uh, you know, and if you're unfortunately you don't get drafted, it's not the end of the world. That's the biggest thing. It doesn't matter where you go in the draft. It, it's it's what you come into camp. It's from now to, to camp to get ready and prepared. And, uh, you know, I've, 25 years ago, I did the same thing. I went in with a with a hard working uh, attitude and uh, wasn't the most skilled player. But, uh, you know, just did my best and, and did whatever I had to do to, to try and make the team. Meanwhile, Mark Long knows that his son may have to play at a lower level for a year or so before making the big jump to the OHL. He knows he's done it himself. I mean, the battalion have done a great job these last two years with their picks, and uh, you know what? Uh, we're gonna get we're gonna get the boys uh, prepared for camp and the best of the thing. But like I say, there's there's a lot of good picks, and uh, you know there's no there's no there's nothing wrong with going to play your junior and uh, you know getting a little more confidence in yourself and bigger and stronger. So.